What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmiston here from Schwartz Edmiston Web Design. I am a huge Star Wars fan, so in today's video we're going to look at how to turn the hamburger icons into two lightsabers, duking it out when the mobile menu is open. So I'm here in my 7.1 site, and in terms of the setup, uh, I'm forcing the mobile menu on desktop, and this is using a plugin on my shop, hamburger menu on desktop in 7.1. So if you're wondering how I'm doing that, that's how, and you can uh, access that plugin link in the description below, and you just get a nice slide out here on desktop. So I'm gonna be changing these hamburger menu icons into lightsabers that are gonna battle it out when you open the menu. So in terms of the setup here, I'm gonna edit the site header and go to the mobile styles, and you can change your menu icon here. So two lines is the default, and that's what I'm gonna be using for this tutorial because I want a red lightsaber and a blue lightsaber. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the structure of our hamburger lines. So Squarespace organizes the hamburger menu into three different bars, and they use a pretty funny naming convention. The top one is the top bun, the middle one is the patty, and the bottom one is the bottom one. But since we have the two line icon selected, they're just giving the middle line a scale of zero, so effectively hiding it. So we only have to worry about the top bun and the bottom bun for our purposes. So I'm first going to add a hilt. These are gonna be my lightsaber beams, but I need to add a little hilt at the start of them. So I'm gonna do that using an after pseudo element. So I'm gonna target my top bun, and you target classes with a period in CSS. And then I'm gonna add an after pseudo element, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom bun. I'm gonna give it an after pseudo element. A pseudo elements are a way of injecting content into the HTML through CSS. So when using pseudo elements, you have to include a content property. And since we're not gonna be putting anything actually in there, so we're just gonna leave the content property blank, but we need it in order for this to show up. So next I'll give it a width of 35% and a height of three pixels. Next, we're gonna give it a background color. So we'll give it a background color of hashtag EEE, -E -E, and that's just a kind of a light gray color. And then next, we'll give it a position of absolute, and that's gonna actually position the hilts um, onto the blades. But they're not in the right spot, so we need to move them around a little bit. I'm gonna give it a right of 50% and a top of 50%. And then I'm going to use the transform property and translate them minus 100% on the x-axis and minus 50% on the y-axis. So this is moving them over to the left 100% of their own width and then moving them up 50% of their own width. So it centers them because we've already positioned them 50% of the top of the element. We're now uh, transforming it back 50% of its own width, which centers it. So that's looking good. We now have our hilts at the start of our blades. So let's go ahead and give our blades some colors. And then after we do that, you'll see we'll have to make another tweak to get it to look totally right. So for the blue hilt, this is gonna be our top bun. And I'm gonna target it. I'll right click and click inspect. And so you can see we have this class of burger inner. And so I'm just going to, I'm sure this class of top button isn't used anywhere else on the site, but just to be safe, I'm also going to target it inside of this burger inner class, which should limit it just to the hamburger menu. So I'll copy this burger inner. And then I'm gonna target the top bun. Gotta open up my curly brackets and we're gonna give it its glow using the box shadow property. So I'm gonna write box shadow. And then the first value is uh, the X offset, then the Y offset, then the amount of blur, and then the amount of spread. And then we have the actual color itself. So I want this to be blue, so I'm gonna use hashtag B A three nine three B. Whoops, I used the wrong hex color. So I want my top one to be blue. So I have this off screen. I'm gonna use that red color for the bottom bun, but I want my top bun to be blue. So now you can see we get the blue glow going here, um, and it's looking, the spread is a little bit too high. I'm gonna turn that down 
to just one pixel and now the blow isn't quite so intense. Okay, so that was the blue one. Let's go now move to our bottom bun. So this is gonna be red bottom bun. And basically I'm gonna copy this uh, and paste it down here, except this time it's gonna be the bottom bun. Okay, and then we want this to be the red color that I accidentally typed before. Sweet. Okay, so now we have the red glow and it's a little bit faint, so I'm going to turn that up to three pixels. Now we get a little bit more of a glow going. Okay, cool. But we do have a problem. So when I turn on the lightsaber, as you can see, the red one isn't facing the right direction. And I also want my blue one to be on top. So an easy way to make the blue one on top is just to use the Z index. And that changes the stacking order. So now our blue one stacks on top of the red one. So we do have the problem of our red hilt is on the wrong side. We want our red hilt to be at the bottom here. And so what we can do is uh, just change the properties for the after pseudo element. So I'm going to write ampersand after. And the ampersand is a nice shortcut using less, which the Squarespace CSS window utilizes. And it basically just says repeat whatever selector is up here. So instead of having to write it all over again down here and then writing after, I can just write ampersand as long as this is within the curly brackets of this selector, and it'll just duplicate whatever this selector is. So now I'm just targeting my after pseudo element on my bottom bun, and I'm going to give it a write of auto because before it was positioned all the way to the left, and now I can give it a transform translate and push it to the other side of the hilt. So I'm gonna do transform, translate, and I'll write minus 100%, comma minus 50%, and you'll see it shoot to the other side. Whoops, and this was supposed to be positive 100%, so that pushes it all the way to the other side. So there we go, now we have our lightsabers, and they battle it out as soon as the menu is opened. Kind of a cool little neat effect, so whenever it's, Star Wars Day, May 4th, then you can just pop that into your menu, and it's just a funny little tribute to Star Wars Day. So happy May 4th, everyone. May the Force be with you.